Hey everyone, and welcome to Off The Production Line. Yes, not Off The Shelf. So for all those avid fans of Off The Shelf, don't worry, it'll be back in January. But Off The Production Line is a spin-off that we're doing just to show our production capabilities within Abbey England. So we're gonna focus on our 19th century foundry that we have down in the Midlands. And we're gonna be looking at what they produce. This week we're gonna be specializing or focusing on buckles, as you see in front of me here. Um, the foundry does a lot more than just buckles though. It does fittings for locks, hinges, uh, sundials, door knockers, and lots, lots more. So we're gonna focus and look at items that might help you in your business and see what we can produce for you. Moving on, let's crack on with it. So we're gonna look at some of the buckles that we produce in the foundry. So here you've got a Bristol buckle, you've got a Marshall Say buckle, which is quite interesting in the fact that it comes apart. A sport buckle and a West End. So those are just the popular ones, and then you can see it on a nice little belt there. Nice inch and three quarter on that one. So they're used for a wide range. These were obviously originally harness buckles or, um, or used in, in the horse industry or equine industry. And then they've moved obviously over onto the um, fashion side of things. So we have lots of different capabilities. But what we are going to do, as it's off the production line, not off the shelf, we're gonna show you a production video. So we're gonna take you through the steps of how a buckle is born. The first thing that we're gonna look at is the pattern shop. So in the pattern shop, there's hundreds and hundreds of different patterns. That's how that is produced. Then the pattern is then moved downstairs into the foundry, into the main part, where there's lots and lots of sand and boxes. So there's two halves of a box. Boxes are wooden, they're then strapped together. The pattern is put in the middle. Sand is compressed on the bottom, sand is compressed on the top. Remove the pattern and then you have two halves of a buckle or whatever fixture and fitting. Two halves are then put together. Then it's moving on to the delicate art of pouring. Very, very delicate art and very, very skilled. It's done in our, an oil-fired uh, furnace. The crucible is then moved over to a, a section of the foundry where then they pour the molten brass into the mold or the pattern, uh, which is the box. Then the box is allowed to cool. And then the final process within the foundry is that then they knock the box apart, which all this sand falls apart. And then you're left with a very, very rough buckle or fixture or fitting that then is then moved on to the next stage, which is either barreling, filing, or polishing. And then after that, then it moves on to a range of different finishes that you can see there.
Hope you enjoyed that short VT of how a buckle is born. Don't forget to tune in next week where we'll be looking at how a lock is made. So, if you haven't done also already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, like it, and also pass it around your friends. Make sure they're aware of what we do and how we do it. And as always, please, if you have any questions, don't forget to ask. That's it for now. See you next time.